Joining me now, senior advisor to Donald J. Trump, Jason Miller. Jason, uh, look, I, I don't know what else to say. Democrats are clearly scrambling, much like that debate, which was a masterclass by President Trump. I think we just nearly just keep our mouths shut, step to the side, and watch them implode. What say you? Yeah, I think you're exactly right, Joe. But let me go and take you a little bit further back in time. Everyone remembers Joe Biden's first run for president in 1987, where he had to drop out after copying the British labor politician with literally almost word for word with his bio. So he drops out in 87 with that next year in 1988. Joe Biden had two brain aneurysms, had to have brain surgery. In 2008, then 20 years later, when Biden was, of course, Barack Obama's VP choice, he was criticized by CBS News and others for not being forthcoming with his health issues, saying Joe Biden's health is um, not fully disclosed. We don't know. Of course, uh, Joe Biden does eight years as vice president. And then when he was running in 2019, 2020, People started raising the question, saying, hey, what's going on with Joe's health? There's cognitive decline, uh, all sorts of things that are that are coming up. But keep in mind, every year since Joe Biden has been in the White House as president, his doctor, Dr. Kevin O'Connor, the retired Army doctor who's been with him as VP and then now as president, has been signing off saying that Joe Biden is in perfect health. Joe, you hit the nail on the head in your opening. This has been a cover-up. Dr. Kevin O'Connor has known exactly what is going on and what might be a reason why O'Connor might not be forthcoming. If you go and Google it, Jim Biden and Kevin O'Connor, you will see that Dr. O'Connor was doing some business dealings with Jim Biden and all the AmeriCorps scandal. So this thing stinks. They all knew about it. It's a cover up and they need to be held accountable. You know, you look at what Joe Biden is doing here to try to clean up this mess. I'm more concerned about the mess of this nation. You look at what's happened on our southern border from the fentanyl, 23,000 Chinese nationals showing up at our southern border when we used to have just 300. Over 300 people in the terrorist watch list coming mostly from our northern border. You know, you look at Gaza, you look at the South China Sea, you look at Russia and Ukraine in this deadlock. World War III markers going off bells ringing, and we don't even know who's running the country. How does President Trump impress upon that persuadable sliver of Americans just how high these stakes are, that it's bigger than him? It's about preserving this union, our republic, and our first obligation, the safety and security of the homeland. You're absolutely right. We should have gotten some hint of that when Joe Biden had to take 10 days off to go to that log cabin in the middle of the woods to prep for the debate. Meanwhile, we had 55 ISIS terrorists who are running loose in the United States. So they're already inside of our country. And Joe Biden's taken a, a week of vacation to go prep for the debate, which obviously didn't help him too much. But you're exactly right. The southern border, our foreign adversaries, even our foreign allies, many of whom are in town for NATO this week, are saying, what the heck is going on. We have to restore America's standing in the world. We have to keep the country safe. That's the first rule of government, is make sure to protect your people. And right now, we are failing at that. Absolutely. Last question before we go. It's come down to this. We're just a week away from convention. Who is President Trump going to pick for his running mate for VP? We've got three names that we've heard down the shorter, shorter list. It's uh, J.D. Vance, Marco Rubio, uh, Doug Bergman, perhaps a wild card. You can tell us, Jason. We promise not to tell anybody until convention. <laughs> Who's the big man going to pick? Well, as soon as the president has made his decision, I have a sneaky suspicion that he will share it with all of us. Uh, it will happen at some point over this next week here. The names that you listed, all fantastic choices. I have heard some additional names as well. Only one person is going to make that pick. It'll be President Trump. And really, I think the big question then is going to be, who is the ticket going to be running against? Because we don't know if it's going to be Biden-Harris. Ah, what a world we live in, Jason Miller. Great to be alive. Great day to be an American. Always great to see you, my friend. We'll talk soon. Thank you, sir.